Hello everybody, Free the Perennies here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. In this episode, we're gonna solve this puzzle. It's a pretty easy answer. It's pearls. All the hints combined, we shall be unstoppable. What is our reward for solving this puzzle? Oh boy. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. It's going straight to boss time. Against the giant squid himself. And his tentacles. Should have brought the princess along for the ride here, but... Hey, I think we'll be okay here. Now, in this battle, we're just gonna focus on dealing with the tentacles first and foremost. And also, you'll notice Bowser has his chain chomp on. Because the sunken ship has been a sunken nightmare for me. And once again, I lost footage. And I... Decided that after I show off this boss fight, I'm just gonna run straight to where the footage got lost So you'll notice the hurly gloves aren't on right now and our characters are slightly different in stats But that'll all fix itself eventually but We're just gonna keep at it with the uh, normal attacks here because the uh, Tentacles aren't too tough to beat they do have one attack that can send your character flying into the air Which is not very good for us because it causes the fear status but, eh, it's nothing too hard to deal with, so... Let's go ahead and deal with this last tentacle here. Alright, and with that, our team advances forward... ...to deal with three more tentacles. Man, they're just coming out of the woodwork here. That's alright, as long as none of them grab us, we'll be A-okay. And they sure have a thing for the Koopa King. Bowser has had one interesting uh, run this entire playthrough. I'm, from getting kissed by Booster to uh, being fondled by tentacles. Not my idea of a fun time right now. But then again, I don't know what Bowser's into, so who knows? He might enjoy it. And hey, the Chain Chomp's getting some free uh, squid out the deal. Alright, let's continue forward, group. To deal with the last two tentacles, and also the Calamari himself. So, the whole team is boosted up. We're going to focus on dealing with the tentacles first, once again. It just needs to happen. Don't want to be fondled here. Alright, go ahead and deal with that tentacle, Bowser. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, just about. Oh, going to get hit with a Venom Drool here. Nothing too crazy, just poison, as per usual. I like to get poisoned a lot on this run, apparently. Alright, King Calamari himself now. Should be able to deal with him rather quickly. So this was the giant squid, huh? Oh boy. Sandstorm? Underwater? Well, casted fear on two out of the three members. But luckily Mario should be able to uh, take on the brunt of the damage here. So we'll just continue to jump on him. The rest of the team will just attack normally, and shouldn't be too bad. Oh, nice try, buddy. Should just be almost wrapped up here, if I'm not mistaken. Although I'm curious, if he's locked in the treasure hold, where's the treasure at? That's one thing that I don't think we get out of this fight. But hey, King Calamari's down nonetheless. And we can continue our journey to find Jonathan Jones. And also, the princess will get a level up. Alright, as you see, though, it's level 11 once again, and she's learning sleepy time. So, that's when you know things aren't really uh, where they're supposed to be. So, we're just going to go ahead and skip all the enemies in this area up until a certain point. Because, technically, I have fought all these guys, but I literally lost the footage right before Jonathan Jones himself. So, I'm just going to go ahead and speed run straight through here. There's a couple items up here. I'll jump up here and show you what's in there. Coins, just what we needed, as if we didn't, weren't swimming in enough money. But hey, can never have enough, right? Okay, let's go on in here. There's a secret item in here. If you jump on our doppelganger here, it reveals a block there. And then we can also jump on uh, him here. And get ourselves a Kiro Kiro Cola. Nice. Not too shabby. And if you talk to the doppelganger, he actually turns into a Greeper and you can fight him, but... Like I said, nothing too severe. Why did I choose to show off this fight? Who knows? We're just gonna run away. Haha. 
See you later, sucker. All right, let's see. What do we got going on here? There we are. Right past this guy back here is a secret door. Get ourselves a nice little frog coin to add to the collection. Just going to skip these dry bones. Go down here, because in this treasure chest over here, we get a free uh, healing mushroom, which we're going to use because we're dealing with another one of those chest enemies up here. We've got ourselves a quick Geno boost on Mario. That way he can keep up with this enemy, because these guys are usually weak to jump. So boosting Mario is a pretty good idea. There we are, 375 damage. This is Hydon. Or Hidden, possibly. Who knows? It's a pun on a treasure chest that's hidden. And he has the ability to spawn monsters, apparently. Let's go ahead and boost up Bowser. That way we can uh, deal a little extra damage here. Hydon himself should not have too much, or Hidden. So he's down. Now he's got to deal with his little Goombets, I believe they're called. Alright, buddy, stop biting at us. Give it a rest. And you'll notice the Hurley Gloves are back on Bowser, because after that last menu transition, we're right back where uh, the footage cut out. So, got to lose the entire boss fight from the King Calamari, but that's okay. We managed to somewhat recover from our blunder here. All right, let's deal with these last few Goombats here. Got to get rid of these suckers. Get out of here, buddy. We have to continue on, because there's a star with our name on it at the end of this adventure. Where is Jonathan Jones? This ship is a heck of a lot bigger than it would seem. All right, and with that, we got a safety badge. It's a pretty decent item. We'll probably put that to use later. All right, let's go down here real quick. All right, some frog coins over here. And don't feel like dealing with this guy, so we're just going to run away from him. See you later, sucker. He'll never take us alive. All right, and right over here, we'll go ahead and make the transition back here. Because um, that was a pretty crazy run there. We're going to go ahead and deal with a couple of the enemies in this room and then carry on. This guy and this guy. And Gino's going to reach level 14 after that fight and learn Gino Blast. Pretty decent move. Won't use it too much, though, I'm afraid. Now, if you go around to the side of these barrels over here, you'll actually find a, a hidden room. And in this room is a hidden safety ring. It's actually a pretty good piece of equipment, if I'm not mistaken. Because we've got the safety ring that guards against mortal blows. So you cannot get one hit KO'd when this... Uh, Accessories equipped. Now we could destroy the bloober, but he looks like he's got a good thing going on. His family there wouldn't really be uh, sending a good message towards everyone if we were to destroy him and his poor offspring. Mario's a good guy like that. He don't mind sparing a few creatures here and there. Up there is a nice little frog coin. And uh, let's go ahead through here and see what we got going on up ahead. Oh, hello, guys. Oh, they're pirates. Arg. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well. We're gonna need to take that from Johnny, I'm afraid. Well, I guess these guys ain't gonna let us through without a fight, huh? Alright. Come on, you bandana red pirates. They're literally called bandana reds. Interesting. I'm sorry that your parents didn't love you. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that guy. Yeah, they just attack with their spears. They have the normal jabs here, and then they have a skewer ability. Does a little bit more damage if it's successful, but in that case, not so much. Because uh, we were able to guard it successfully. Oh boy, you guys are in for some hurt now. Giving Bowser the once again? Not gonna be so nice to you guys. Goodbye. And hey, another once again. Let's go ahead and just uh, let Bowser destroy these guys, apparently. Thank you very much, Mr. Koopa King. Proving your worth. Alright. Yeah. I'm much stronger than I look, that's for sure. Oh, running away, are we? Alright, skip that treasure chest for now, because we got another fight ahead. Oh. Jeez. Let's get stomped on, huh? Oh, boy. Maybe we should run. Alright. Oh. What? Duck. Well, they just uh, took out their own teammates. 
Yeah, I'm pretty good at dodging them barrels, I'm afraid. Donkey Kong has taught me well. Alright, bring it on, guys. For some more bandana reds, huh? Oh, boy. You guys. We'll never learn, apparently. Alright, let's go ahead and just uh, continue our onslaught of these poor innocent sharks. Your spears are nothing. Heck, even when they get a decent attack off, it doesn't do too much damage. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and deal with these guys in the back here. Why not? Oh, no once agains. Man, that would have been nice if Bowser could have just rolled right through these guys. But, hey, we can't get lucky every time, right? Yeah, your skewer isn't going to work on me, pal. I've got the timing down packed. Toad taught me well from back in the days of timed hits. Now, oh, there's our once again. Would have been nice at the beginning of the battle, but hey. It's enough to deal the job now, so I can't complain too much. Goodbye, guys. And with that, Bowser goes to level 14. Man, level ups all around for everybody. Let's go ahead and increase that special. Oh, they're going to actually let me through now. Nice. But first, let's go downstairs and heal. So, apparently Johnny's room's on the other side here. Will we be able to defeat him and take the star back? Find out next time, pretty squad. Later.